children. But as this demonstration shows, sparklers burn fast and hot. Sparklers look great, but they're actually extremely dangerous because they do burn at 2,000 degrees, which is as hot as a blowtorch. New data from the Consumer Product Safety Commission finds sparklers were associated with an estimated 600 emergency department treated injuries last year. And it is the number one cause of injury for children under five when it comes to fireworks. And some of the burns that we've seen have been horrific. And so it's really important to you know, keep them out of the hands of children any fireworks, but particularly sparklers. A Mott poll conducted last year shows 63% of parents of children ages 6 to 10 and 38% of parents of children 3 to 5 have celebrations that include sparklers. If you're going to let children use them, experts caution it's critical to teach kids to hold the sparkler an arm's length away. Also, consider a child's age and maturity, including their ability to follow rules. There are ways to keep the spark alive safely so everyone can enjoy the 4th without getting hurt. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Now let's take a look at what's happening across the country for this 4th of July. The Independence Day celebration and parade took off at the nation's capital before noon today. Military troops, marching bands, parade floats, and giant balloons filled the hearts and minds of onlookers of all ages. It wouldn't be the 4th of July without a hot dog eating contest. After rain put a bit of a damper on Nathan's famous competition and delayed the men's competition, Joey Joss Chestnut gobbled his way to another win, eating 62 francs and buns in 10 minutes. Miki Sudo forced down 39 and a half hot dogs and buns to claim a ninth women's title earlier this morning. A ceremony aboard the battleship New Jersey welcomed 34 new American citizens from 21 countries. As their first act following the oath, the new citizens recited the Pledge of Allegiance. Still ahead on First News at 4, the legacy of the American flag and its significance to the American people. Closed captioning on News 3 is sponsored by Superior Air Repair. Anytime, no overtime. You can trust Superior Air Repair because you can trust in me. These are the most skilled workers to ever compete for the Tough as Nails title. The pressure is on right now. Who did that well? That's not right. Oh! Our team is a little frantic, and I'm like, what is going on? This individual challenge is all about how you handle pressure. Oh! Tangle. I'm starting to panic. I would get fired doing crap like this. Tough as Nails, new episode Friday on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. At CC's Buffet, it's all you can eat pizza, pasta, and more, all for one low price. Mmm, turbulence. At CC's, the pizza penalties are endless. Introducing the deep cheese, pepperoni deep dish with our cheesiest stuffed crust ever. My name's Danny, and I absolutely love my F-150. I bought this particular truck because of the Blue Cruise. You literally let go of your hands. It just centers the car in the lane, follows the person in front of me, keeps a safe distance. In my experience, the Ford F-150 is the best in Texas. Lease a new Ford F-150 for just $4.99 a month or choose 0% plus $750 cash. Both include complimentary maintenance. Ford is the best in Texas. Oh, I got one. Oh. Great catch, Marv. But this, this is greater, baby! Woo! <laughs> Reminds me of my checking account at Aggieland. I get all the features of those big banks' checking accounts for free. No minimum balances, no crazy transaction requirements, no hooks. Get it? No hooks. <laughs> Man, we're gonna need a bigger cooler for that little guy. We need some help. I know. I'm going to cashnetusa.com. And if approved, we can have the money in our account as soon as the same business day. Go to cashnetusa.com to apply for the money you need. Pinpoint Weather on KBTX News 3 is sponsored by American Momentum Bank. Bank on the strength of momentum. The 
flag that inspired Francis Scott Key to write the words of our national anthem is on display at the National Museum of American History in Washington. Christina Ruffini recently paid a visit and spoke with the people behind the exhibit about the flag's legacy and how it serves as an enduring symbol of democracy. In the murky waters of Baltimore Harbor, between the Chesapeake Bay and a decommissioned fort, a red, white, and blue buoy marks the spot. Behind us is our Francis Scott Key buoy. What it is is it is a marker for where Francis Scott Key observed the British bombarding Fort McHenry for a 24-hour period. With the War of 1812 raging, the British had already marched on Washington and set fire to the White House when they set their sights and ammunition on the last defense of a young nation's industrial port. American Francis Scott Key was aboard a British ship at this spot in the harbor. And as the sun began to break over the water, he squinted through the smoke to see who had won. The morning after, they raised a 30 by 42 foot American flag and he saw that and he wrote a poem and that poem became the national anthem. This is the actual flag Key saw, the Star Spangled Banner now housed in a climate-controlled, light-protected chamber at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. They know that the Star Spangled Banner is here.